This is an Nexus Special, Episode 16, The Fifth Quarter, on February 15th, 2013. And now, with Ryan Rampersad and Matthew Petchel. Hey, how's it going? It's uh, going pretty good. How are you? I'm, I'm quite well. Did you know that it's our um, fifth quarter in existence? Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I think... Uh, you know, I don't actually know if that's true, but we're going to say that... Well, it's the end of quarter one, and this is our second year, so yes. Yeah, I would say that means fifth, right? Do you remember when our um, esteemed colleague, uh, Brian Reinhardt, thought it was a problem when we had five quarters in a year? I, correction, I mean, didn't find the problem in having five quarters in a year. Yeah, you know, I, I, do, I do recall that, actually. Yeah, that, that was kind of a discrepancy. So, do you know what this, this fifth quarter marks... It marks the end of us not sucking? Well, I mean, it, it, it marks our first year in official existence. Well, we got all the bugs out. We had the old table removed. We had the old mixer. Do you remember that old mixer? Yeah. I mean, this new mixer makes everything sound so much better. Yeah, you, you, you know it's the same mixer, right? No, no, no. I've labeled it. I've changed the name so everybody hey, thinks you know, it's a different you, mixer. When you, you labeled the mixer, you didn't put the dash in it. So you were... F- Future I forward thinking. was future forward thinking so hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. I don't know how you manage that. Well, I amaze even this cat. Indeed. I have a cat on my lap, by the way, well, audience. Of course you do. Well, anyway, so the the big news of the, of the day, before we get to the quarterly stats, which is what we always do on our quarterly review shows, we really have to do, discuss the future. The future. I think the future is changing really rapidly this next quarter. Well, hopefully this quarter, yes, but we'll see. Probably be a two-quarter endeavor. So here's what happened. With, with me and your team, half a quarter. <laughs> I can design the CMS all on my onesies. Really? Yeah. Let me know how that goes. It'll all be in beautiful, Took you beautiful. only nine months to get a blog up. No defense. Moving on. Katie. <laughs> it's so good. So here's here's what happened. Uh, a couple of months ago, prior to At The Nexus episode 50, I, I had this, this inkling. Of 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 a dashless society. In I a heard. sense, I wanted to defeat the dash that has been that that has been dividing our unification for ages. And by unification, I mean connecting the to the nexus. I mean the, it's been separate for too long. Yeah, they're bridge. We so, need a solid. When, when you say, have to say who we are, what do you say? The hyphen nexus dot. TV. It, it's it's a hard thing to say because you have to stop for that dash. It's not natural because we think of ourselves as the nexus, right? We are the nexus, right? So saying the dash, saying the hyphen, saying that piece of crap that's been driving us all apart. Well, it was a it was a problem that we had to solve, and so mm-hmm. it was a branding issue. It was a branding and issue. You being the marketing director, you you had to fix this. Among other things, I think I am the producer, the CEO of a company that doesn't exist. Um, I have no problem calling myself the CEO of Nexus Labs. Yeah, you know, yeah, I I, I know. That's that's my uh, chick magnet tool. How'd that go? I will find a girlfriend someday. I, you know, I have 130. You know what I was gonna say? (laughs) 130 what? (laughs) I was gonna say I have 130 shows under my belt. Well, (laughs) turns out. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know, it's been a long day. So anyway, um, wow, what a wow, so good. What was I saying? Shows are better than girlfriends. Not necessarily. Wow, look, cat. Kitty. So, so what happened was, right after our 50th show, so our, our technical one year, not our official one year, um, I, I started looking at acquiring the dashless domain, so the nexus.tv. And so I found out that it was going to expire on the 28th of November, 2012. And so there it did. But according to the domain regulations of the universe slash the world, uh, there's there's a 45 day period where the person can just repurchase the domain name even though it's expired, mm-hmm. right? Correct. And he just pays the standard thirty dollar fee to buy the domain again. Then after that 45 day period, he enters the 30 day period called the redemption phase, where he pays an absurdly astronomical rate of like two hundred dollars to get his domain back. Yeah. So if you want it, you can have it, but you just have to pay up front like a lot. And if he wanted it, he would have, you know, dealt with it before. Right. So in theory, after the redemption phase, unless you're serious about pre- repurchasing your domain or it makes you money, you probably don't do it. Uh, and then thereafter, it enters the... I clicked my knife and it flipped out. Well, it doesn't know what it is. It's a new creature to the world. It's only two-ish, probably. So we'll have to figure out that knives are for... Look at that. 
Why? I just put a huge scratch in the back. How? I don't know. Well, there's something on the table. Show me. I want to see this. See that scratch? Did you hear that grinding sound? Wow. I didn't even go over the screw. What'd I go over? Huh. I, that sounded so bad when I just rubbed across your table. Well, don't do it. That is bad. Stop that. Well, anyway, so basically what happened is that the, the domain that was owned, the Nexus.tv, it expired. And so I knew it was expiring earlier this week, and so um, this whole week has been about defeating the Dash. And as you can imagine, defeating the Dash is kind of an important and kind of a big deal. And, and and so because we did it, we actually managed to buy a domain name that was previously contested, much like a waypoint in Guild Wars 2. Wow, we are quite successful. And this opens up opportunities. For? Well, so now that we have the new domain, I'm officially committed into doing this thing. The CMS? Mm, I mean the network in general. Like, like bloody crap. Like, woohoo! Woohoo? Well, I mean, like, I literally could have walked out on any day before the dash went away. Really? I yeah. thought you were quite invested in it. Yeah, you know, that's what I give an impression to. But now I am. Yeah. I mean, for the longest time, you know how, like, the first couple months of this, I was just thinking of myself as a very, very temporary part of this. I know. You always thought that. And maybe one day when we actually have multiple people to discuss things with, like, on every any given Friday, I wouldn't mind having you as dedicated board and editor manager person. But so far, your track record... As a co-host has been better than your ability to edit a show, even if it's your own show, let alone the show that we actually need to get produced on time every week. I always wanted to be the culinary expert of the show. I understand. Like and, and grill so, master and all, all, all titles. Included. And by grill, it's a metaphor for mixer. Ah, uh, no, I wanted to be cooking hot dogs while you guys were doing podcasts. Right, I understand. So that's why we couldn't do that. Pretty much. So, so maybe one day. I mean, I would love to have. I, I was at um, a store that sells furniture recently that will be unnamed, and I, I found the most beautiful table. I have already designed a table for this room. It wouldn't be in this room. I can tell you that. Yeah, uh, I. You know, I could totally mud and joint ceilings and do stuff. You no, know, so that, we... that third floor will never be used. What are you thinking? What for the next room? Oh, it wasn't. A total not be in here though. Oh, no, no, no. I, I mean, I just found a nice table. That's all. I never planned on moving from this place. Oh, 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 oh. my mistake. You hyped it wrong. No, Stupid hype. you, you listened wrong. Hmm. Get with the apple. Hmm. Well, anyway. Was oh, that a hint that we're doing iTunes? Sure. Getting with the apple. Okay. Anyway, Except so we're not. well, we'll get to that point. That's the next quarter. Uh. So anyway, um. So along with actually being committed into this, I I was waiting until we can get a real domain name. Before I made business cards. So we're going to go, be doing uh, Sam Eberts, the guy who never does a show but actually does produce assets for the network. Um, he's being conned into producing the design for the business card. It'll be, you know, something similar to what we like doing here. Mm -hmm. it, won't, it won't be, it'll just be specific to the Nexus and what we do and stuff. So that'll be nice. Um, and so far, uh, that's a great thing. And then we'll, we'll work on branding thereafter. So he's in charge of that. So we might update our logo and get refreshed looks and, you know, you remember stuff. the t-shirt blueprints I showed you right. all those years so ago? Like the, probably be doing that. The, you were like the eyeless guy with the microphone and I was the guy with the lab coat going, like, do you remember that picture? Yes. I, I, I thought it'd be totally good. Like we had, the, we had the black t-shirt model and the white t-shirt model. Right. Um, so we'll probably be doing something like that sometime yeah. in the future. My sister will make mm -hmm. art. Good. I love, I love the art and making mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So that's, that's, one part of the phase of the next multi-month storyline. It's ready to pounce. It's saying. sleeping. So the next part, though, is no, do not lotion the cat. No lotion the cat. No lotion the cat. So the next part of the the the, the deal is our website. So as you might have heard, we have WordPress, and and uh, you mm -hmm. know I love WordPress to death. Even more than Dan Benjamin. Yeah, um, but I also hate WordPress to death, too. Even so, more than so, that. Yeah, so for my blog, I love it. It works great for my blog, just my blog. But for the Nexus website, it doesn't quite meet our needs anymore. There mm -hmm. are things I really, really want to do with the website that I just cannot do with WordPress being between me and the database and the data that I would want to get out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and did I ever tell you about WordPress Ghost? So it's kind of a new UI paradigm for WordPress that's not out yet, but that's been conceptualized and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really nice, and I, I've looked at looked over it, and I really like how they've designed their back end. So for me, as the person who works on the website all the time, 
the place where I input all the data for every show and stuff. Mm-hmm. Eventually, you'll be doing that for your own show. Eventually, uh, as you know, Brian, um, not Brian, what's his name? Andrew Bailey. Mm-hmm. He does it already for his own show, Control Structure. Yeah, I have the accounts. You've made them for me. Right. So the, that backend on WordPress looks like a blogging backend. It's very basic, and it doesn't really do much for us. It has no customizations. Mm-hmm. By being in control of our full CMS, um, we'll, we'll be able to customize that. But it'll also be able to make the front end for visitors and such much more user friendly. The feeds will be better. They'll update faster. Everything will be better in overall. So that brings us to what we need to do. We need to make a new CMS ourselves and we're going to, in, th- in theory, use Symphony to do it. And you said it could be project head? Uh, no, you can be a contributor. Uh, I was hoping I could fail you again. <laughs> I like opportunities to make a muck of things. I'll make a muck of things. A mick a muck a thing. Well, you're 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 uh, such a grammar. <laughs> okay. Well, was when there, I evolve, was there ever evolution of that? Grammar goes to muck. I know, but of muck. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, yes, there is. What is it called? Hold on. Muckier? No. Uh... I was angry when they evolved. Maybe uh, there isn't. Maybe I misread it. Bulbapedia. That's where I just was. Well, if it didn't say evolution line. No, I guess it doesn't. Never mind. I was I was being impressed. Yeah, so um So those new CMS will be cool. So yeah, so the new CMS provides a lot of opportunity. Now here's what I think. So let let's go in terms of developers on the network. Let's start with me. So one person on the network develops something for their for their lives. Mm-hmm. Number two, Andrew Bailey develops in his life. Mm-hmm. You know how to program. You've never really developed anything of any successful measure, so we'll count you as a half. But I'm three times your weight. Irrelevant. So so we've got two and a half so far. Um, Sam has definitely coded something in his life, so that's three. So we've got three and a half. And Ian Buck has never coded anything in his life, nor has he produced anything, but he is taking computer science. So that should be a half again. So in my estimation, roughly, that we have four developers on board. Mm-hmm. So with four developers, I think we can drive our own CMS into existence and hopefully make it work for us. Um, that's the future, anyway. Um, as long as we're gazing into these this future you speak of, what's the chances of video? Um, so depends on how we want to play that. Um, we, we need to make those kind of decisions sooner rather than later. What? The way its body is positioned. I know, it's very impressive, isn't it? It's like the surface area it takes up on this desk is less than your MacBook Airs. I know! It's amazing. Literally I know. Amazing. It's, it's incredible with cats, I know. Yeah. This cat is so good. By the way, our cat is called Samba. Yes. If we haven't made that clear. We renamed it from... O'Malley. Oh, yeah. O'Malley the Samba, the tale of the podcat too. Its memoirs are going to be better than mine. And I'm going to write them. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to write the cat's memoir? Today, a fat guy threw me in a box and closed the lid and set me upon a couch. Earlier today, a separate person, I've noticed, found a stick of dynamite underneath their cushions on their couch. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting back to the topic at hand. Um, so, um, we, 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 yeah. So we were talking about iTunes earlier. Yeah. Um, and so one of the things that after we launch the new CMS and we verify that it works, we'll probably launch into iTunes. So one of the reasons I'm holding off until then, so I hope to have the CMS done by summer. So done by June. I'll be done next week. No. Um, Five developers, it's done. Four. Oh, four. I can't even count right. I rounded to the nearest whole five. Yeah, I understand. I've done that too. So by by June or so, um, one of the reasons I'm waiting until then is um, c- Control Structure will have a, a, at least 25 shows, maybe 30 by then. I don't. I, I can't count. Maybe 25. We'll see. Uh, con- he hasn't um, missed a week yet. No, not Except th- for when he went out of town. That, he did a not, short one, though. Yeah, he yeah. still did it. Um 8-Bit will have plenty of shows, but then at least 40-ish. No, maybe not 40, but at least, you know, 35. Um, the universe might have at least two more by then. Ah! I, <laughs> we'll probably have about 75-ish by then. So all the shows will grow in number between now and then. And at the beginning of June, we also get a bunch of specials like IO, WWDC, um, and another whatever crazy stuff somebody pulls out of the bag. So all of our shows will grow on the network, and in theory, we might even launch shows between then, so new shows will be ready to go and ready to get in. Yes. Um. So hopefully, if we decide that iTunes launch is imminent, we'll also standardize whatever things we do, like 
show opens and show ends and things that iTunes likes. Cool. Uh, so that that's a thing we'll do, but only after the CMS is done and only after everybody like confirms their allegiance to America. Apple is um, America, I guess. If Apple's America, I don't know if I'm a patriot anymore. <laughs> I, they start with A, right? But one is about freedom, upholding freedom, and signing all the way all the all the rights to digital rights management and other things. So America? I guess both are on freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Um, so anyway, do you want to talk about some stats now? Yes. So I I am here for the stats only. <laughs> Really? Not here for the future. Not here for the past. Wait, I'm here for the past. I want the that's, stats that's from the past. That's where the stats are. Stats from the past. The stats from the past. Okay, well, so here's here's what we got. In the past 90 days, do you know how many times a show on the network has been downloaded? The whole network, right? Yeah, whole network. Wow, that cat is climbing up the door. Uh, it's adorable. <laughs> wow, so good. Uh, moving on. Yes. How many? I... 519 downloads in the last 90 days across the network. That includes the fringe? Yes, that includes all shows on the network. Alrighty. Well, no, it's not too bad. Now, um, for a good joke, do you want to know how many of those were the uh, universe? How many? 10. It's, uh, it's impressive. It's more than just us. I can't believe 10 shows on the network have gone to him. Anyway, so Athenexus has 126. Control Structure has 120. Uh, 8-Bit has 113. Next specials have only 24, but it's because they're never produced. And they suck. Well, no, they don't. They're actually really good when we do them. We just don't do that many because we don't cover that many events because there aren't that many. Uh, the Fringe has 126 also, so they match us in download number, which is absurd. So it makes me wonder who's downloading all of those. <laughs> no, keep in mind that The Fringe is diluted because... It's all the shows. Like There's three yeah. shows posting to it. Yeah, essentially there's three shows a week that go to it. So... Mm-hmm. One or two downloads contributes to this. There's already 47 fringes, so it's it's quite a quite a large number there. Mm-hmm. Um, and and of course the universe has 10, so that's that's our download breakout for the last 90 days. Now our our page views is, are also a thing we like to talk about. So, um, you know, page views are kind of misleading because they don't tell the whole story. They only tell you know what people have so ten of the story been reading on the website and i I don't think a lot of people go back to the website a lot of people kind of just forget about it and don't go back yeah because when they hear stuff in the show notes it is google that they don't i mean when they hear something interesting they google it they don't go back to our links i don't even know if they google it honestly so let me um set up the the date here when when did this start fine tell me when 90 days ago was google when was 90 days ago there's a true question november 13th Quarterly system, you know? Uh, so anyway, so do you want to know um, how many visits we had in the last 90 days? Thousand? Thousand and eighty visits. That's pretty good. We had 394 unique visitors. We had a total of 3,800 page views, approximately three and a half visits per pa- or pages per visit. We have an average time of four minutes and 47 seconds. Not bad. I don't know what people are doing, but, you know, okay, great. Um... In sad news, though, we have a high bounce rate. Average bounce rate is 47%. So do you know what bounce rates are? We never talked about this in the past. And they go there and then leave right away. Yeah, so that's a bounce rate. Um, so most people, half the time, come and then leave. Do you know what it is? What? They go there, see their favorite show hasn't posted. They see that the universe hasn't been posted yet, and then so they just leave. Yeah, not only that, I think I think they, they just don't know where to go afterwards. Like, maybe there needs to be, like... Some kind of associated content. Like, you know, you listen to the show or you find out that there's a new show. But what do you do afterwards? Nothing. You listen to it. Right. But then what? What What comes afterwards? We need to, we need to drive up feedback. We need to bring people back. We need to announce a contest. Maybe we do. All right. I was talking to you about this proposed prize. Because every time we have a bunch of six packs of Diet Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper, we always have a contest. And we'll sign it. So we're going to offer... A 19-inch giant knife engraved with mine and Ryan's name, or Ryan and I's names. No matter what you do, will never work. But okay. The two hosts of your favorite show will sign it. The Gadget Show. The Gadget Show, guys. Mm. You know what I want to do now, right? What? Blackberry. Blackberry! 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 Ram. No, I don't don't feel that when you say Ram. No, I don't either. So... But yeah, so uh, if you want to win a dagger, design a CMS for us that we like. Yeah, it's kind of a tall order. 
Well, they can be cut down to size later. Wow. With the knife. With the knife. Well, anyway, so let's talk about new visits. So 33% of the people that come to the website are actually new visitors. So we actually do get a steady stream of new people coming in. I'm also pleased to support what announced that we've got visitors from New Zealand, uh, Germany, France, Russia, and uh, Great Britain. How many from Russia? Five. Because of Kalinka. Oh, man, that could be not true. Better not be true. You you played it. I'm not getting a hit taken out on me. Well, it's going to hit you anyways. Anyway, so if we look at the uh, geographical distribution of shows, most come from Minnesota, as you might imagine. 681 visits from Minnesota, but a surprisingly small number from California, only 24. Mm. I've got to get all my Microsoft friends to visit here instead of my website. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, a, a cool cool stat that I know of is browser and OS. How many operas? 44 operas. How many think that were mine? Don't know. But the one that I find interesting is the pr-cy.ru screenshot bot. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I don't know what that means, but it's really cool. Uh, anyway, um, Chrome is the number one user to browser to visit the website. Firefox in second place, Safari in third, and Android in fourth. Opera in fifth, of course. Yeah. How many Internet Explorer 4? Does not say Internet Explorer 4, but I do have a number on Internet Explorer in general. Uh, 43. Hmm. Because I, I tried to view the site today using Internet Explorer 4. It crashed right away, but I wasn't sure if it would still trigger the analytics. Mm, yeah, I doubt it. I'll have to try Opera, or Internet Explorer 5. So surprisingly, Windows is not... I mean, not surprisingly, Windows is the first, but surprisingly, Macintosh is in second, with Android 3rd, Linux 4th, and iOS 5th. Nobody, nobody... Wow, somebody browsed our website on Chrome OS. Two people. What if that had anything to do with the book? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Wow, that, that, that those analytics should get in there fast. Well, they should be. Now, surprisingly, somebody actually browsed the website with a BlackBerry. One visitor. That is because we promote BlackBerry. Like BlackBerry! No other BlackBerry! Okay. So, um, most come from Quest? Mm, so, does that exist? Well, it's called CenturyLink, but I'm sure all of their internal services still are Quest. Mm -hmm. um, University of Minnesota, COVID Communications, Comcast, uh, Verizon, um, Insight Communications, Earthlink, and Guard Onville Telephone. So no Megapath. No Megapath. So it still must be COVID. Yeah. It's, even though I've been bounced around, it still must somehow have something to do with it. Bounced that. around. Well, if Quest is still around, COVID's got to be around. So a cool thing is I can find out what keywords... Um, brought people to the website. Now, I'll cry if Poison iPad's one of the things again. No, it's not, but Control Structure Computer Science is something that brought people to the website. They weren't looking for a podcast. No, I they weren't. You they, they were not, but they found it by Control Structure CS. Computer Science. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. CS, it's fine. Yeah, well, you know, it's about computer science. So if we ever get Ted, that'd be cool. Hey, coming soon. We've been working on the album art. Yeah. I'm not telling anybody about that. Um, anyway, um, can you kill orphans in AC3? <laughs> that is amazing so i don't know what to say about that uh 18 and 45 nexus tv and the space nexus space tv are also things that brought people to the website that last one made sense really yeah now if i do that the you get some wrestling nexus stuff i check no 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 we're first you are first i've won hmm. and this is incognito so i must have won just wait until I kill that dash. Anyway, um, in content. So why don't we find out what the most visited content was? Kind of a, a, a big and important thing, right? don't you think? Mm -hmm. So let's say, do you want to know what our most popular show was of, of At The Nexus? I bet it's changed since last time. Uh, well, since the last time we did a quarterly review, yes, I imagine it did change. No, I mean, some shows just kind of are awesome. Like, the windows are jiggly. I don't and, know what episode uh, that was. That was old. Well, so let me tell you. Do you know what the most popular shows in the last 90 days was Ooh, for us? Oh, for the 90 days? I thought you meant... Okay. What is in, it? In the last quarter, last 90 days, mm -hmm. episode 50. What was that? Episode 50, where we were totally ending at the Nexus forever. Oh, yeah. You know, I the troll the show. Yeah. yeah. No, don't end the show. We uh, It really touched my heart when I got all that feedback from our fans. To so. literally like all of two people? No, I actually got like um seven people. Seven? Seven old You people. know seven people? I know seven people. Who? 
person A, person B, person C, person D, person E, and person Z, X, Y, and W. Okay. That should be seven. Now, so um, after that, we also have, so uh, 50 is our first and most ranked show with 53, or 63 page views, 47 uniques. Um, very, very impressive. So that that's good to know. Um, 51 is our second. Um, 54 is our third. 53 is our fifth. So. Noticing a pattern. Yeah, kind of. 52 isn't in the top five. Um, so what about TU? Do we have a guess that one? I don't know. Do you want, do you want to know what the most popular TU episode is in the last 90 days? Uh, episode 18, the most recent one. Yeah. yeah people did listen to it. Uh, 12 is the Cause there's only one in the last 90 oh, days. Oh, what a burn. How about, how about, um, control structure? That show's actually been on a lot. Well, so this would actually be the first week where they're in their second quarter then. Cause they're on episode 13, so yeah. 13 per quarter. Um, so the most popular, um, control structure is apo- a- actually episode zero. Um, oh, the C- C- CS0 with 50 page views. Um, CS4 comes in second, CS1 comes in third, CS3 comes in fourth, and CS10 comes in fifth. So that's good. Yeah. And of course, n- what is the next one? 8-bit. 8-bit. Tell me about 8-bit. So 8-bit, um, they do surprisingly not well. Because do you know what episode they're on this week? They're on episode 23, I believe, this week. Their still most popular show is, unfortunately, episode 12. 12 is a good number to be popular with. Uh, 12 is their first with 30. Um, Oh, so they're losing viewers. I don't know if they're losing viewers, but... uh, Mm, uh, Ain't gaining them. uh, Three, uh, so their their second most popular is 13. Uh, Third is 11. Fourth is 10. And sixth is, uh, or fifth is 16. Okay. So, so I mean, so that's good. That's good. You know, it's not bad, but I, I I'm looking for more. Mm. But they do a great show, though. They, they just have, they haven't been around as long as we have. No, no, nobody's been along as around as us. Yeah. Words. We're ten decades. You know, if yeah, yeah, no, if you add it right. So let's look at the fringe because it's kind of a funny thing. Because we never used to count the fringe. This is the first quarter we ever actually counted the fringe. And you counted it in a funny way. Wow. Huh. You posted way too much to it. No, no, every show has a fringe. So just, it's just all saying. one big pool, though. Yeah, it is. So the most exciting Fringe ever is apparently Fringe 10. Now, if I go to the website and find out what Fringe 10 is, what do you think it's going to be? Something when it was an actual thing. I'm betting that it's the the corresponding um show to the... Um, 50. The end of the podcast. Yeah, so I was thinking. Yeah. But you know what? It's not. What is it? It's actually the, the Fringe right after that one. It was the Fringe of the first 8-bit thereafter when Ian Buck discovered... That I was a treacherous liar. That one was hilarious. <laughs> I love that one. I do too. So that, what, what fringe was that? Ten. That was episode uh, fringe ten. Um, whatever. It, it was corresponding to EB eleven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So that's, that is actually really cool. Yeah, that was a good episode. Just, you should go listen to it. If yeah, you yeah, to this. definitely. I'll put. If a you link have time to listen to this crap. So I'll, I'll put a link stuff. in the show notes. Um, uh, other other notable fringes is uh, fringe twenty two. Um, and because nobody knows what any of these are, I'm actually looking them up. Um, a Ryan voice. This was, uh, CS5, um, or CS5 Fringe. TF19, uh, what do you think that was? No idea. That was CS4. Yeah, and so stuff like that, right? So it's, it's pretty cool. So we also have TF41 as our fourth most fringed show. Well, what do you think 41 was? That's pretty recent. Yeah, it is. CS11. Wow, I, th- I think CS is pretty popular. I think CS is pretty popular. Can I tell you something? Yeah, tell me. I don't think I've ever listened to the fringe of that show. I have, except for like one or two. And also, finally, number five is um twenty four, which corresponds to a stunning conclusion to horribleness. What show was that? That was eighteen fifty five. I, I don't remember the show names anymore. Uh, well, that was the show name of the fringe. I uh, then I don't know. Oh, and also that 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 particular fringe had two fringes within, so there's there's two afters. Oh wow! Yeah, hey, you know what happens. Mm-hmm. So, so that's that's our that's our quarter. Um, now you know, I th- I think we did pretty well there. Yeah, next quarter is going to be much more profitable because we're going to be spending more money on business cards and stuff. So you mean less profitable, right? I, I think that's actually what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to compare growth. So page views grew eighty five percent from two thousand to three and a half thousand. Just total. So from the so from this ninety day mm-hmm. period, so this quarter, yep. to Q four last, so the previous ninety. So we've gotten bigger. Oh yeah, so we've got eighty five percent bigger in page views. Expanding. 
uh, 67% for unique page views. So 1,400 to 2,400. So that's a thousand increase. Unfortunately, time has decreased on average. On, well, on people the site. know what to expect. So they but get... I think the reason for that is the influx of fringes have diluted the people's willingness to stay on a single page for so much time. Um, bounce rate has also decreased. So people are staying on the website longer. Unfortunately, the X rate has increased. So, you know, whatever. Um, we live with it, I guess. Um, still though, I think, I think that's our, our best statistic there. Uh, traffic sources. Let's see. What else do we have for growth there? Uh, not, not too much there. Um, what about audience? Um, overall visits have increased. So that's, that's good. 20%. So we had 896 our, our Q4. In Q1, we had, um, you know, a thousand mm-hmm. and 80. Um, unique visits were about the same. So, you know, same people pretty much came all the time. Uh, 85% page views, as you know. Um, yeah, you know, I think we did pretty well. 85% growth. Yeah. If you count page views, it's a, it's a weird thing to count. Mm-hmm. I'd say 13% growth is more realistic. Well, cause you added the shows page and so people had more pages to view. It, it, that's, or, no, account, the, that's, I mean the people. That's accounted for. Yeah. Most people didn't view those. People didn't go to the people? Not page? so much. It's not promoted very well. People. Look at peoples. You know, in the, in the new CMS, that'll be promoted so much better. Yeah. Um, we're, we're coming with the new, new and exciting things mm-hmm. there. So, do you have anything else to add to this wonderful occasion? Um, I'm gonna try hard with video. So you were, oh, that's cool. Never done this before. What'd you do? I'm, I'm looking at the real time stats. There's one active visitor on the website. I wanna try it. I'm yeah, gonna... okay, we're, we're spam it. Ah, crap. Hi, one active person. Wait, he's not gonna know who he is. <laughs> it's probably one of us, honestly. So I went there, but I don't see anything happening. Nothing's changing. Oh, nope, nope. It changed. Got it. How many people are on there? Two. Hey, it's two. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, so, so, um, oh, got three now. That's cool. Hey, well, um, are, are, are you by chance viewing? Um, no, you're not. <sighs> it's in public domain yeah, now just, that you published just, it. Just keep listening. I, I, I like it. I love that part. Yeah. So, uh, if you'd like to listen to that, please listen to the, uh, at the Nexus 62 and enjoy, what is it called? Uh, Kalinka by the Red Army Choir. And, uh, watch out for cars in Germany. And berries. I think I meant Russia. Yeah. <laughs> watch out for little snow berries. Snow berries. So anyway, I think, I think this, this quarter was great for our growth. Um, when we get our business cards spawned across the University of Minnesota, that'll also be great for our growth. Now we need to become an LLC. So now that is something for a quarter beyond us currently. That'll be a summer quarter. No, no, no. I can fund. Hmm. Summer quarter. All right. I think t-shirt sales. Ian Buck will buy one. I'm, I, I, if, if he would spend like 10 you, bucks. We, you, t-shirt sales don't make money, just so you know. What? Mugs then. Nothing physically produced really makes money for the organization. Just so you know. Well, Gruber does because he charges fifty bucks for his. <laughs> Who would spend fifty bucks on one of his sweatshirts? Did you spend one hundred fifty dollars on t-shirts? No, that was actually twenty nine and sixty. Yeah, but for his like sweatshirts, I saw. I don't buy sweatshirts. Uh, it was it was expensive. Oh, yeah. and I I just don't do that. Well, so you know, you know, our logo would look terrible on a t-shirt. The the blue and red. I can't think of any t-shirt back color. Like black or white or anything. It would all just look terrible. Those two colors don't go with a third. So, when was the sixth? Ten days ago. Isn't it? I think it is. Yeah. Ten days ago. Huh. I wonder if I did something. Like what? Something bad. Something evil? Yeah. That was the day you had to kill the Chinese hackers. The the WordPress spamming. Or wasn't wasn't that about what, ten days ago? But it works. Hmm. Looting. Um, well, I, what I'm referring to is that for some odd reason, the shows in the last 10 days are not registering download counts. That's a biggie. 
Not really. I mean, it does take some time. So, like, the show that I, the Microsoft show I did, the the one where the fringe I recorded of me calling Microsoft, I never got any downloads, so there's none registered, which makes sense. But on the other hand, when was February 3rd? A little bit ago. Yeah, so that doesn't have any downloads either. The fringe or the show? Either. So it makes me we wonder suck. if I... So it makes me wonder if I broke it. Hmm. Nope, didn't break it. It's there. So it makes me wonder... What does make me wonder? The show's there, but the analytics aren't tracking? Oh, I know what it makes me wonder. It makes me think that I should make my own download counter. Good idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good idea. I will do that, then. Sounds scientific. No. Maybe. That might. So anyway, um, so our, our, our plans are cards, CMS, iTunes. Video. That's your plan. Yeah, it's mine. I'm going rogue. Now, I might sell some unofficial t-shirts, too. Well, see, you can do video. We can all, anybody can do video, but it's just got to be really good. Like, we can cheat so hard on audio because we can just edit everything out. This face was made for radio. I agree, it I was. It. Yeah, I know. You know. Your pop filter can blankly stare back at you. He looks so blank today, too. Yeah. Nice little pop filter. Breaking stuff again? No, I'm just feeling out my pop filter. Sounds like it always does. <laughs> Remember that torch day? Oh. Back in that Q2. I don't know when that was. It was old. Did you know we have six shows on our network now? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It's good. One time, and it happened this quarter, every show in one week. On my iPad, that's still the background. All of them being new. Every show on the network was new. In the, in the same seven days. It was incredible. It hasn't happened since. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Q2 of year two is the year for expanding. I agree. Yeah. We need more shows. I want like eight shows by the end of this quarter. So two more? Two more. So what would those be? I think it's time to formally and formally announce SciSnap. Really? It hasn't been formally announced yet, has it? Not that I know of. It's been rumored heavily. Oh, it's been rumored up and down. So many people. People have been calling me Squirrel Fondler because they wanted to see the show. Every Wait, why am I doing this? I don't know, but it's hilarious. Well, <clears throat> I think you meant like open door. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like casting flare left and right today. Like it was Fondler. Fondling the squirrels, moving on to more important topics. Um, SciSnap will be the snapshot of your weekly science crap. I mean, events that have happened this week. So, um, come Wednesday's thing, we're talking about, um, like, you know, the project, you know, SETI? Yes. Like, there's some people. Well, apparently there are two moons on Pluto. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and they're it's naming cool. them. There's a contest. Yep. It's a Google spreadsheet. Wow. It's Google. It's powered Generic. by Google Docs. I like yes. it. Um, we're covering that. We're covering all sorts of other things. When so, are you producing these shows? The sh- show will be filmed on Tuesday. Filmed. It'll be filmed on my webcam. Hey, did you know you can't even edit audio, right? I will strip it with just the audio. Good. Because if you strip it with the video, I'd be impressed. No, um, I really like the mic on my um 1080p camera. Yeah, it's nice. And so I'm just going to, you know, as soon as I get it, I'm ripping it. Good. Because I used, like, I know I showed you sample code of my uh, crap. Sample code. My audio bear test. Yes. It's not really code, is it? Not It's quite. Audio. Audio! Yeah. Hey. Audio code, they sound the same. Bear. Arctic. Yes. Love that thing. Yeah. But, uh, so it was a good quarter. Quarter for expand. Oh, Ted. Ted. No. Well, then we can talk <laughs> about that. No, we actually can no, talk. No, no, you no, talk no. about it. I don't okay. know what it is. What okay. is Ted? Tell me what Ted is. So, uh, I was trying to explain what, what, how, how our network works the other day. How does it work? I need to be told. <laughs> so, you, you might know what we like to call the fringe. Heard of it. So the fringe is when we have a show and then we talk before and after the show about stuff like about the show or just about stuff that we're doing. So you know the prep stuff. Oh yeah, like we're before a lot we go of silence, on a lot of talk about show notes. Right. So before we go on air, uh quite often though the fringe has really cool stuff in it, so we publish it as the fringe because we don't always use mature content. Like you know, we, we sometimes talk about Hey, you know that's something topics. that's something to, to add to our uh, CMS uh, NSFW flag. Forgot. Yes, that's important. Totally forgot because I've never used it. When we have the the, <laughs> the when Ian Box in studio. Beep. Yeah. Beep. Well, and the matter if we did video in the studio, man, they never wear clothes here. <sighs> I forgot I wasn't going to sit in this chair again. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, anyway, um, what? We, oh, we should um, just end it on shirtless guys. N- no. Um. So that's what the fringe is for. So the fringe is for shows that 
start before and after they are actually formally recorded. Mm-hmm. Um, the Nexus specials are for breaking news and special events. So it's a very clear cut, right? So like Google I.O., it's like a clear event. WWC in two months. WWDC or CES or E3 or whatever you might have. Those are breaking shows about a topic somebody on the network covers. So in other words, if Wikipedia suddenly decides to explode one day, Andrew Bailey, in theory, would cover a show on an extra special about Wikipedia exploding. Because that would be big news for his show, I guess. Presumably, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Or something like that, I guess. I don't know what he covers for specials. But if we, if if Apple has an event, we cover it. If if E3 has an event, Ian Buck covers it. So that's the idea behind the next special. Um, the first two episodes of the Fringe, however, you told were... me we couldn't cover Libra Planet 2012. Well, I didn't want to go. You could if you want. No, I was going to cover it. I was going to talk about all the things that came out of it. By the way, nobody talked about it. Right. So anyway, um, so the first two fringes, however, were not part of this, you know, internal stuff external stuff pattern first two fringes were actually this thing sam wanted to just do one day one was a book review and the other was what would we want when we were stranded on an island oh, yeah. so and i thought there was a few others no those were the only two that we did, did that way oh they were never published no they, there were a lot of things recorded though yes so do what you i the 10 questions challenge you had for us? I, it's just i stopped there so what, 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 what we decided though is that occasionally we do want to talk about things that we don't want on our shows, but that aren't related to a show either. So they're not events. They're semi timeless. They're not a part of a fringe because they're not a part of another show. They're on their own. They're just discussions. They're discussions. So Sam needed something to name this and we, we eventually came up with the extra dimension. And the reason this is an apt name for this topic is that we're adding a dimension to our other show, so it might not be something we normally talk about or cover, but we're going to talk about it anyway, and it's going to be essentially the same kind of stuff. So, you know, if we have a book review, we'll do it in the extra dimension. So we, we Sam and I, we typically review science fiction books, so it's another dimension of what we normally mm-hmm. talk about. So it's kind of like a fringe, it's kind of like a special, mm-hmm. but it's neither at once. That sounds intriguing. Yeah. So that's that's something to look forward to. Um, Does this have a schedule? or? So that's one of the things that I, I'm working on internally. It does and doesn't have a schedule. So in theory, um, if we ever had two in one, in one week, I would either delay the, the next one or I would have custom UI to handle multiples like the fringe. So we, we don't interlace the fringe with all the ep- other episodes on the front page. We have them separated. We would do the same kind of corralling. For yeah, if it's extra... timeless, it's fine. Right, so it can just be whenever. Mm-hmm. Right, so I mean, I, if we have a book review, I don't care if it comes out a week now or a week later. Unless it's a pre-release book, in which case I'll just change the schedule. Like you can go to a pre-release. Hey, you never know. Hey. Even if he has money down, it won't be a guarantee. <laughs> in three quarters, yeah. we'll be doing extraordinary things. I hope so. I do, also. <laughs> so that's, that's the fringe. Now we might also launch a, yet another show um, called The Meta Show. We don't have a formal name yet. Oh. But the meta show is kind of a fake thing. Essentially, I don't want these shows, these these quarterly things, to pollute my beloved specials. But they don't really go to the fringe because they're not really part of another show. So what do we do with them? Make meta. Well, we put them in the meta show. And what's it going to be called? Well, we have slash meta. We have also dot meta. I'm I like thinking. Dot meta. I think I'm thinking the dot meta because then I can get a good joke out of its short name. Mm. What is it? DM. That's right. There's nothing more meta than a DM. There isn't. Man, those bugbears. Yeah, you know, Sam is the only problem who has a problem with my DMing. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. Yeah, I, just, you, I, just, you just I just don't like playing. I just have a whole problem with the whole game. So I mean, yeah, well. So anyway, um, that's those are our plans. You got anything else? No, but it's kind of hard to imagine going to the show page and seeing nine items. Wow, that is insane. It is. You know, none of them are going to ever be new, right? Like that Ted show. I mean. The extra dimension. It's short name is Ted. That's why it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. And I hope everybody caught that. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, Sci Snap has, is going to be. Has is. Has is. Has oh. is from henceforth. Henceforth. Four a, score. Four score henceforth. Has is a weekly show. Good. Starting this Tuesday. Good. Hope you get there. Yeah. First week of Q2. I was going to launch on my birthday. Didn't work. Had issues. Well, it will be your birthday plus three weeks. Or, if you think about it this way, the first opportunity to present myself in quarter two. Oh, well done then. Yeah. 
That sounds like a plus for me. Yes, I'd say so. Yeah. And a plus for the network. Ah, you, you should see it before you say that. Because it's audio, right? These microphones we've been over are 3D compatible. I keep forgetting because my monitors can't display audio in a visual form. Not upgrade your plenty of times. No. Yeah. Hey, look, waves! Well, speaking of waves, later. Have a good one. <laughs>